Welcome back to another deep dive into the open source world. In this video, we're exploring top trending and open source GitHub projects this week. Part 2, packed with tools that boost AI workflows, developer productivity, and privacy-first apps. You'll learn what each project does, who it's for, and why it's gaining attention right now. Welcome back to Manu AGI Tutorials. Here, we explore the exciting world of AI, latest AI tools for you, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest AI insights. So let's start today's video. Project number one, RLM, Recursive Inference for AI Language Models. Let's dive into the world of a new way of using language models that feels like giving AI a smarter pair of hands for tough problems. The RLM project is an open source Python library that implements recursive language models, RLMs, a fresh inference strategy where an AI model doesn't just read a long prompt once, but treats the input as an environment it navigates and breaks down. Instead of stuffing huge text into a single call, the model stores it in a Python REPL environment and writes code to search, slice, summarize, or delegate parts of the context to smaller submodels. This lets RLMs handle effectively unlimited context lengths without losing information or context rot. And in early experiments, a recursive approach built on smaller models outperforms larger models on long context tasks while being cost efficient. The repo offers plug and play support for various sandbox environments from local repulse to isolated cloud sandboxes and works with different LLM backends like OpenAI or Anthropic, making it useful for developers and researchers exploring scalable reasoning and workflows. Try it today and watch how it reshapes long text AI tasks. Project number two, LLM from Tildar. Code Summaries for AI Workflows Imagine facing a massive code base that's too big for an AI to read. That's where LLM from Tildar steps in as a developer's compact guide. This open source project is a Python-based tool that analyzes code structure and extracts exactly what AI models need, trimming away noise so the model can focus on relevant pieces. Instead of feeding raw files and drowning in tokens, LLM TLDR builds multi-layer analyses from abstract syntax to data flow and creates summaries that deliver up to 95% token savings and much faster queries. It integrates with semantic search and caching for quick feedback and supports workflows where indexing happens once and queries run instant. Built for developers, researchers, and AI agents alike, it simplifies code exploration, debugging, refactoring, and semantic search by giving language models just the essentials. The result is smoother automation and clearer insight into complex projects. Try it today and feel how much easier long code workflows become. Project number three, Zero Shot, CLI for Autonomous AI Engineering. Here's something that feels like the future of dev automation. ZeroShot is an open source command line tool that turns language models into an autonomous engineering team. You can run from your terminal. This project orchestrates multi-agent workflows so you can point it at a GitHub issue or task and the system will generate, review, test, and verify production-ready code on its own. Instead of stepping through each edit manually, ZeroShot handles the end-to-end -end cycle with built-in support for popular AI backends like Claude Code, OpenAI Codex, and Gemini CLI. It's designed for developers who want to automate tedious coding chores and let AI manage feedback loops that ensure quality. With a simple CLI invocation, you walk away while the tool crafts complete solutions and reports back, boosting productivity and keeping your focus on bigger problems. Give it a spin and see how it fits your workflow. Project number four, Contour. Turn 2D maps into 3D terrains. Let's dive into a neat geospatial tool called Contour, which turns flat map files into immersive terrain you can fly over. Contour is an open source project that processes 2D maps like geotiffs or topo charts and builds them into flyable 3D terrain, giving developers and explorers a way to visualize landscapes with depth. It's especially useful for game developers, simulation builders, or anyone curious about terrain data who wants a more interactive view. Written in code that reads map data and calculates elevation, then renders it into three dimensions. Contour bridges geographic information with creative visualization. It's straightforward to use for people who want to go beyond static maps and into interactive terrain experiences. Try it and feel how your landscapes come alive. Project number five, Claude Cowork. Desktop AI Assistant for Tasks. Here's something that feels like your digital coworker has arrived. Claude Cowork is an open source desktop assistant built around Claude that helps with programming, file management, and tasks you can describe in natural language. Unlike a simple chatbot, this tool moves into action, 
letting you tell Claude to handle real work on your machine, from organizing files to assisting with code without switching contexts. It's built to integrate with your local environment, take commands, and help you accomplish tasks you'd normally do manually. Designed for creators, developers, and professionals, Claude Cowork emphasizes productivity and workflow simplification by letting AI take on concrete jobs rather than just chat about them. Explore it once and feel how smoothly your daily tasks become more manageable. Project number six, Twofer, local web two-factor authenticator app. Let's dive into a tool built for everyday digital security that feels like having a personal key keeper in your browser. Twofer is an open-source, local-first, web-based two-factor authentication app that helps you generate and manage 2FA codes without handing your secrets to a central server. It's written in Svelte and TypeScript and runs entirely in your browser, so your codes stay private and secure on your own device. This app matters now because breaches and phishing attacks are on the rise, and many existing authenticators require cloud sync or third-party trust. With Twofer, you get self-hosted security, seamless UI, and simple code generation without the usual ecosystem lock-in. Developers and privacy-minded users can customize and extend it in the Git repo, and it's packaged to run straight from a local web UI. If you want tighter control over your login codes and fewer external dependencies, give it a try and feel how easily it fits into your security habits. Project number seven, any depth. Practical depth estimation from images. Imagine a tool that helps computers see depth the way humans do from just a single image. That's the promise of any depth. This open source depth estimation project makes it easy to generate depth maps from ordinary photos using a compact PyTorch based model called Simple Depth Transformer, SDT, which matches larger decoders in accuracy while using far fewer parameters. The core idea is to fuse multi-scale visual features and produce reliable geometric cues, making depth prediction practical even on constrained hardware. Researchers and vision engineers benefit from a framework that's efficient, training-friendly, and suited for zero-shot depth estimation, letting models generalize without fine-tuning for every scene and thus saving training time and compute. The code comes with dataset splits, lightweight architecture, and ready-to-use scripts, so you can plug it into your pipeline and start seeing 3D structure from 2D images with less fuss. Try it once and notice how much clearer your visual tasks become. Project number eight, GrepPy. Semantic code search tool. Here's a tool that feels like giving your code base language. GrepPy upgrades simple text search to meaning aware code navigation. It's an open source CLI tool that uses vector embeddings to index code semantics, so you can search by intent instead of keywords, helping both humans and AI agents find relevant functions and usage patterns faster. It understands natural language queries and returns meaningful matches across languages like JavaScript, Python, Rust, and more. Without sending your source out to the cloud, everything can run 100% locally with a provider like Olama or OpenAI. It also supports real-time indexing, a file watcher, and call graph tracing, making it easier to explore dependencies and relationships inside large projects. Grepi's token-efficient search shrinks the context your AI needs and speeds up development workflows while keeping privacy tight. Try it and sense how much quicker it becomes to find what really matters in your code. Project number nine, WebCTL, CLI-style browser automation. Let's explore a fresh take on browser control that feels like the missing link between simple curl calls and full automation frameworks. WebCTL is an open-source command-line tool for browser automation via a Unix-style CLI, designed for both AI agents and humans. Built originally out of a desire for clean, token-efficient interaction, WebCTL runs a persistent daemon that holds browser state like cookies and sessions, and exposes discrete, pipeable commands you can use to snapshot pages, click elements by semantic roles, or navigate flows without dumping huge HTML into language models. This makes it useful for automated scraping, filling forms, or letting AI workflows interact with web apps in an auditable, script way. Developers and agent builders benefit from precise control and less context noise, improving reliability and debugging. Try it today and see how smoothly browser tasks can be scripted from the terminal. Project number 10, Obsidian Visual Skills Pack. Diagrams from text. Here's something that feels like turning words into visuals, straight from your notes. Obsidian Visual Skills Pack is an open-source plugin set for Obsidian that helps you generate diagrams like canvas layouts, Excalidraw sketches, and mermaid charts from plain text prompts using Claude code. Instead of manually drawing shapes or writing syntax by hand, this pack lets you describe what you want in natural language and produce structured visual content inside your Obsidian workspace. It fits creators, 
knowledge workers, and visual thinkers who want to bridge brainstorming and polished visuals without leaving their notes. By tying textual prompts to diagram generation workflows, it simplifies tasks like planning, idea mapping, or documenting processes with clear, editable visuals. Give it a try and watch your concepts turn into visuals right where you write. Thanks for watching and spending your time with us. If you enjoyed this roundup, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment with your favorite repo from the list. Don't forget to star the projects and try the demos linked in the description. Turn on notifications and suggest what you want to see in next project.